Hi, it's Glenn here again. I'm hoping you're having a great day. Um, just doing a quick overview or oversight video of my 110 scale drag car after my first time testing it. Um, I will probably won't be getting it out this run due to just be raining. Last week we had rain. This week we've had rain. Tomorrow we've got more rain coming. So I just thought I'd do a quick video about my first run on this car and what I'm running. Um, a few problems that I've found. I don't think they're problems, but hopefully someone in the comment might be able to help me out and, you know, let me know if it's fine or not. Um, but yeah, we'll just get into it. So, this is my new shell. Um, I did buy another shell after scratching up my, my original one that I was using for testing. Um, I like my stuff looking pristine, so I bought this as a show sort of shell slash you know, dress up sort of thing. Um, and then I'll have this one here, as you can see. It's a bit scratched here on the front. I know I know you're always gonna scratch them. I know you're always gonna scratch them. So I've got some there and got a few marks here and there, like as you can see. I'm not too worried, this is gonna be my race shell now. Then I'll have the show shell just sitting there so it looks all mixed still. Um, and that's why it looks like that. So <clears throat> what I'm looking at, Talking about here, which I've noticed is, I'll show you here, I'll pick his up, bring his over here. These rear tires, as you can see, it's actually gripped up really well. It's used the whole surface of the tire. There's no shiny spots. So I know it's all actually worked really nice. There's no where's there's no shiny bits here or here because they've pizza cut or whatever else so quite happy with them but i found this as i was where are you it's just there i was found that right there now that there is only that big on the whole tire it's just there um just give you another look if anyone knows that normal sort of wear a chair tear if it chips like that or did i do something wrong um just wanting to know so at least i know if i did do something wrong i won't do it again because like i said i'm still new to this no prep sort of racing scene so you know if you don't ask you never know sort of thing so if i've done something wrong or if the tires are faulty or if that just happens to you and you can still get some good runs out of your car i'll be very happy to find out or happy to know so that's it there, but then if you have a look at the tyre, see where it joins? You can see that long mark all the way along. And then some cases, if I zoom in, it just, see, that's, that looks like a crack, but it's not a crack. It's like a seam where they've joined the two tyres. Is that normal, having them like that noticeable? If I zoom out, so if I zoom down back times one, you can still see it here on the tyre. Is that just normal? Is that just basic like wear and tear for most, for these type of tyres? Um, <clears throat> any sort of information would be excellent if anyone could tell me that, yeah, they're no good, they're stuffed, I wouldn't run them again, or, yeah, keep running them, they're fine. Just, um, yeah, any sort of, just uh, message me. I'll be happy because I'd like to learn a lot more about this sort of hobby and make sure I'm going to do this right. Um with this really bar though, I'm going to zoom in again with this here. Has anyone had issues with these wheelie bars where, see how the rocks are actually chewing up the plastic there? And then also I've got a flat spot right along here. Is that normal for these plastic wheels to do that? And I've even got it happening on this one here just there got a flat spot there um and if it is would i be better off keep using these type of wheels or would anyone recommend for me to put wheel bearings or something there instead um yeah please let me know what would you recommend because i like i don't really want it to affect the wheelie because i'm well, not really the wheelie i don't want it to affect if i do launch and it does have to use the wheelie bar. I don't want it throwing it one way or the other. Because at the moment when it drops down on this. It actually still goes pretty straight. Even if the wheels aren't. They didn't even turn that easily. They're sort of. Yeah. See what I mean? 
So I'm wondering if with a wheelie bar on it, it'll probably run even better than being held up by these. They don't, I don't always use them, but if I launch a little bit too hard, I do end up, yeah, launching off the back of that. So, um, but yeah, I am running, I am still running just the standard. Hold on a sec, I'll put this back up here again. Oh, yep, everything's gone per shape again. <clears throat> So I am still running the um, 8121 at the moment. I do have a heap of pinion and spurgies coming anywhere between 69 to 78, I think it is, 77, and everything, try to get everything in between. I do have anything from 30 pinion all the way down to 20. Um, just so I've got a variety, just so I could try everything out. Um, it's not... It's yeah, I just want to try it out. I don't want to go, oh, I should have had a 77 there while I'm out testing because you know, I'm getting to where I like it, sort of thing. So, I like to have everything there, use it. If it doesn't work, well, I won't use it again, it'll be just there as a spare. Or if need be, I'll probably be able to sell it. Or if someone else may be running that same sort of pinion, they need it at the races or something, well, it's there. Um, and yeah, that's the only reason why I'm buying all them just. Just to push this standard, I've done no boost timing, I've done no cam timing, I've done nothing like that. So it's just, it's just to get this running, I'm hoping to get, I don't know, something realistic, under three seconds on just gearing alone. People say it's possible, oh, like I said, I'm still learning with this here, I'm hoping to get to that stage, and then I'll start playing my can, or even sub 2.5 seconds, I'll be, I'll be ecstatic. You know, around that and not touch no boost or nothing like that. I'd be ecstatic. I know it's probably won't ever happen, but I just don't know. I just want to play with the gearings like 60, 69 spur or 75, 78. You know, just to see what they all do. Um, even a 77 or 72 or, you know, I don't know. I just I just got bought a whole heap, still waiting for them to turn up. I have bought some spare tyres, um, which I've got them there, but also I've got the ones on Matt's car up here too that he was using that day as well. So it's pretty, it's the exact same tyres and stuff like on mine. Um, but I might run a three, I might get get him a 3S battery to run in that next time we go out. We'll let him have a bit more fun. The 2S is a lot of fun in that, but I reckon 3S, I reckon he'll probably be able to handle it pretty well. I know you can't race at 3S, but it'll be good just to open it up a bit more. So, as you can also see, I did alter my stand. Um, the only reason I've done this is because this is going to be my travelling stand slash my, my work stand. Because um, I'll be doing a lot of travelling because there's nothing drag racing around my area. So, I've got to travel five hours or so away to enjoy the luxuries of RC drag racing. So... I did extend these slightly wider, just so then the car didn't want to tip as easily, like, doesn't want to tip this way, um, which it has sort of stopped it a bit. I've driven around with it, and it hasn't tried to go either way. Even with hard braking, it didn't want to do that type of thing, so that's good in one way. Um, I'm not worried about going either direction, only because if you look at the front of this stand here, I've cut out two little notches there. Those two notches... Hold this front bar. Oh, I'll move that around. So these two notches keep that front bar in there like so. So that fits in there without an issue. And that won't go back any further as well. And that won't go forward because that's touching on the lower suspension arm. And on the back, oh my goodness, I need a new stand. This camera stand's peeing me off. And this back one here is doing the same thing. So if I... Put this down here. See that little lip there? That's actually stopping the lower suspension arm there from going backwards any further. Like there. So it has worked pretty good so far. I haven't had an issue with it. Um, believe it or not, these little plastic bits, they're like a W sort of a shape. I actually got them from Kmart. Um, we ended up buying some cheap, stair, uh, cheap chairs a little while ago. And... These, these little plastic bits, I don't know if I've got a spare one floating around. I thought I had one more floating around, but I can't find it. 
they were actually clipped onto the chair legs so the two metals of the chair wouldn't uh, rub each other and mark each other. So I ended up taking them off the chair because we bought them and oh, the point for using them and I ended up putting them on here. Um, so as you can see, I've just put one screw in there. This is not even screwed to the white bit here. I could pop this on and off whenever I want. And also these little plastic bits aren't even touching the bottom. They're not touching the ground as you can see. So I don't have to worry about breaking them off if I don't want this plastic bit on here. I could just pop that off and then pop it back on. Or even if, even if you want to keep that on there, you can always drill another hole just on top of that and it won't go anywhere at all. Um, but I'll put one on here, only because this kept sliding. So this whole plastic bit and the arm kept lifting up like this and it's going to be useless. So that's why I did that there. Um, but yeah, that's my stand there. It's practical for me anyway. Um, yeah, it's very practical for me for what I want to use it for. But yeah, this is... I think you've already seen my drag car before, but this is it here again. Just sort of, that, I just wanted to ask, the only reason I'm doing this video, because like I said, it's raining outside for the next day or so, like all day tomorrow, it's supposed to be raining, thunderstorms. So I'm thinking, well, it's probably going to be too wet still on the Saturday, because it's not very warm now, and it's always overcast lately. So that's why I thought, well, I'll ask some of, some of you professionals out there that have been drag racing for years to see if you've seen that type of stuff with your tyres and if that's normal, that's all. Um, and same with my drag tyres there. If anyone's got an idea on um, should I use bearings, please let me know if you reckon I should. Or if I shouldn't, please let me know. And yeah, that would be greatly appreciated as well. So yeah, it, like I said, it's only a very short um, video today. Just to ask a few questions, just to know where I'm at, if that should be happening, if it shouldn't be happening and all that type of stuff, but I hope you enjoyed the last video. I'm hoping to do a lot more of them coming up with the drag racing. Um, like I said, when the weather's calmed down, it's not raining as much, and if all my um, all my pinion gears, my spur gears and all that turn up, then we'll be back out when it's all dry and we'll be out doing some hopefully really good testing. And hopefully we'll get some good hits and out on the field we might do a few different runs like stick to this one here, see what we get with this, how fast we get this up to. Um, without no can tuning, without no turbo tuning or anything like that. And then maybe, maybe just, um, yeah, pause the video or wait a sec, I'll change just the pinion and see what difference it makes in speed and then... Maybe if I'm not happy with that, might be able to just change out the spur gear and go all over again, do a different combo with spur and pinion. Um, see how fast we get it up to. But at the moment, I quite enjoy using this like the last time we took it out. And yeah, can't wait to do it again once this weather sorts itself out and cleans up, cleans itself up and the sun comes out and dries everything out. We'll be back out there testing again with the note. I didn't even, I'm not even going to use prep. I'll be a lot happier if I actually don't use prep for the time being. Because once I use prep, that's when you know you're going to start getting some decent numbers. So if I use no prep, well, when I do use prep, I reckon I'll have a lot more grip. And it'll probably go a lot more better. So if I set it up with prep and then try to use no prep, it'll probably be like ice skating. That's how I look at it anyway. But if you if you think that's not right, well, let me know. Please let me know, and I'll, yeah. But that's how I look at it. I'm no professional in this no prep drag racing, so that's how I look at it anyway. But if I'm wrong, please, yeah, let me know, and yeah, any sort of help would be great. So to close this off and finish it up, please message me about that stuff. I really wanted to know about the tire and the wheelie bar. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for the, yeah, thank you for the views from the last video. I can't, that's the best I've ever had. Um, what was it, 348 views. Like, that's like unbelievable. That's that's more than my subscribers. 
I've got 200 and I think 14 subscribers now off the top of my head, which thank you so, so much for subscribing. And yeah, thank you to everyone that's watching my videos and hope you're really enjoying them. Um, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. There's plenty more good videos coming. And number one will be getting this tuned up and hopefully hitting, I don't even know how fast it goes yet. We are just testing it out last time we were out. So I'm hoping when we go out next, we'll get some um, some times and some speed and all that, so we can so we know what we're working on and hopefully become faster and better. But yeah, thank you so much for everyone subscribed. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And thank you everyone for the love and the comments. And I will see you on another video. Bye.